seen them already, have a look at the OB receiver setup, the um, handheld receiver setup. We also have videos showing you how to do tally, how to set it up with a Steadicam rig, um, the iris and tally only system. And also we have a, a, a small tally system as well that you can use with the full telemetry system. Um, so Gareth is with us. He's from ITV Studios who has the system. He's got a few hundred hours under his belt using it. So what better person to ask how to, uh, how to set the system up? So Gareth, this is the transmitter. Where do yep. we go from now? Okay, well I'll just demonstrate some of the, uh, the features of the, uh, of the uh, transmitter itself. So this is, it's quite a compact unit and it's got a double V-lock plate. So you've got one on, one on this side and one on the other there that you can... Um, so it makes it quite adaptable when you put it on the camera and you can put the battery on the back, you can put the telemetry on the back and stuff like that, but we'll show you that later on. Down here's all your connectors that you've got. So uh, the BNC um, connectors you've got here, so we've got three lines of uh, component. So you've got the uh, green channel on top there, the red channel and the blue channel. You've got, uh, you can give it a composite feed through, uh, through this BNC here and you can also give it the, uh, the standard SDI feed, which is what we're going to be feeding it today. Um, and that is HD or SD, SDI as well. That's right. And we also support um, all formats up to 1080p30, including 23.98. So um, it does all the flavours of um, SD and, and HD. Um, we don't support 3G, 1080, 50 or 60. Uh, there are ways of using the Meridian to do 3D. Um, using two transmitters or muxing before. But if you need more information on that, give us a call and we'll explain that in more detail. We'll start by um, fixing the antennas onto the top. So you've got the four antennas on the top there, and this fifth antenna isn't used. Yeah, not for what you guys do here. They don't use that. That's for the uh, Tally Iris only product that allows you to put a small amount of data back into the transmitter that controls the iris um, and a Tally light. So that's in this, in this circumstance, when you're using broadcast mode in the units, you use the four antennas only for the, for the transmission. Okay, so we'll start by uh putting the three, uh, the, the four antennas on there. Now these are reverse polarity T and C. Um, we do a range of different antennas, different lengths. Uh, for studio environments, these short little stubby ones are usually the best to go for. We also do a slightly longer, longer one. If you're outdoors, it's a good idea to get the antenna elements just above the cameraman's head so he, he doesn't actually block the signal. But for indoors, um, these little stubby ones are probably the best, best way to go. And now similarly to the, uh, the receiver we've got there, where we've um, we're trying to get the best spread of signal um, for the studio itself. What we want to do is do the same thing on the transmitter as well. So these, uh, all these um, antennas have got the little knuckle joints on them as well. So what we'll do is to point them to the four corners of the, uh, of the unit itself. So we've got that kind of set up on there. So this is a particular uh, trait of MIMO, uh, unlike a traditional Coftum system, um, we're using four antennas uh, in the same spectrum um, to send the signal um, and it's very important that we try to create differentials between those antennas, different polarizations, uh, and then that allows the receiver to pick up different parts of the signal and combine all, that, all of that together to get, to get a very robust signal. So this is the ideal setup for a kind of studio environment. Um, there's a few different setups that we can do for outdoors. Expl that's explained in different videos, but certainly for indoor studio, this is exactly the way to set it up. So that's the antennas sorted out. Now we need to think of how to mount it on the camera. Now, um, we've got a Sony 1500 camera here, which is probably the workhorse for most studio, uh, studio setups. Um, if you're using a camcorder, then uh, the camcorder would have a Anton Bauer or V-Lock on the back of the camera. These cameras don't, so we need to uh, make up a bracket such as this that actually clips into the, the viewfinder uh, connector through this V-plate and that offers up two, two V-locks or, or two Anton Bauer plates. So now we'll rig the, uh, the transmitter to the actual uh, the camera itself. So we'll dock it into the V-lock on the back there um, and also give it a bit of power as well. So the power goes through through the two plates and through the camera as well. So everything on here will be live. Now, um, one thing to consider here that if, if you're using this with a Steadicam rig, then um, you'll probably power it in a different way. Um, but there's, if you look at the video showing the Steadicam setup, it'll show you a few different options of power. Uh, in this case, what we're doing is we're, we're taking the power from the battery, we're sending it 
from the two pin D-tap and then into the four pin of the camera. Um, next we plug in the, the video. So you can see here we're plugging this into the, uh, the SDI connector. So we're taking SDI or HDSDI from the camera, plugging into SDI. And then if we put a battery on the back of the camera, this battery will power through the, through the power, through the D-tap and okay. then... Make sure the camera is obviously clicked to external for the external power to, uh, to go through the camera. And yep, it's just powering up now. So the next thing to look at is, is the screen here that gives us some information on exactly what's going on with the transmitter. Uh, the most useful thing to know about is if the transmitter is actually getting a signal. And you can see here we get an SDI loss if I unplug the BNC. And then as soon as it gets a signal that it's happy with, it will give you a signal saying SDI, SDI OK. So Garrett, do you want to show us how to use the menus? Uh, yep, sure. So to get into the menu itself, you just press the, uh, the E button up here. And uh, this, uh, the default menu that comes up is uh, the uh, input selector. So at the moment we're on SDI, so we've got SDI OK there. And four options are SDI, composite, component, and uh, there's a built-in test pattern within the transmitter as well. And that's a 720p test pattern, so make sure that your equipment can actually um, can see a 720p signal if you're trying to use that internal test pattern. So just for now, I'm just going to set it to composite just to show you. So you press this, uh, the button here that's, uh, that's relevant to that, uh, the composite, and it will say composite loss just because obviously we're not sending any kind of composite down at the moment. So that's all you have to do just to switch it, and we'll switch it back to SDI there, so SDI OK. And then to come out of the menu, just press the uh, star button there. So now the transmitter's been set up. The next thing to look at is on the receiver panel. So you can see here all the bars are relatively the same. Um, I can show you what happens when you have one antenna not connected properly or if you've got a bright broken antenna. I've just taken the antenna off. And now you can see that one of the antennas here is much lower than the other. And if I just put that back on, you'll see that it will come straight back up again. So that gives you a really good uh, indication if one of the antennas isn't working. The transmitter receiver need to be on the same frequency, of course. They also need to be uh, both in broadcast mode and they also need to be in the same region as well. So if you're in EU, US, custom, custom two, make sure they match. Um, or they won't talk to each other. So that's a very important thing and you can adjust that within the menus. So that's the setup for the, the transmitter. Uh, check out the Steadicam setup because uh, we power it differently for a Steadicam. Also that shows you how to use a second system as a return video or a auto cue. Uh, so you, the, the Steadicam can be completely wireless um, and also give you a, an auto cue or return video as well. Um, we also have other videos to show you how to, and that'll give you a good understanding of um, how to set the systems up and get the best